This is a condition of congenital dacryocystitis. Basically, the inflammation of lacrimal sac which will occur in newborn infants. This is also called as dacryocystitis neonatum. Etiology of this condition, this is basically due to blockage of nasolacrimal duct. Mostly 30% of newborn babies will be having this issue. This is due to membranous occlusion at the lower end and near the valve of Hasner. Other causes of this NLD block are presence of epithelial debris and membranous occlusion at its upper end near lacrimal sac and complete non-canalization and rarely bony occlusion. Common bacteria involved when these conditions are Stabilococci, Pneumonococci, Steptococci. Clinical features of this condition, we can look for a mild grade of chronic inflammation and epiphora with mucopurulent discharge and regurgitation tests will give us a positive and we can look for a swelling on the lacrimal sac. And the differential diagnosis, we need to differentiate from ophthalmia neonatum and congenital glaucoma. And the complications, if it is left untreated, it will lead to recurrent conjunctivitis and acute chronic dacryocystitis and lacrimal abscess and fistula formation. Treatment for this condition, if the baby is 6 to 8 weeks, we need to go for a lacrimal sac massage and with some topical antibiotics. Till 2 months, if it is not getting cured, we need to go for a lacrimal syringing with normal saline and antibiotic solution. Till 3 to 4 months, if it is not getting better, we need to go for a probing of NLD with Bowman's probe. If it is continued after a 6 months, we need to go for a incubation with a silicon tube. This silicon tube will be placed for a 6 months. If it is not getting better with silicon tube, after a 4 years of age, the last option we have to go for a DCR operation. Daily update, subscribe for Aikarok Tam Tata. Bye bye everyone.